Hi everyone, I wanted to show you a snail mix that I made for my snails and I'm going to test it out and see what my snails think. Which basically means I'll test it out on Rick because he's the oldest and he's always the first one that tries any new foods and he's quite good at eating. So in this snail mix I have oats, I have uh, dried mealworms and fish flakes. Obviously, this is just using what I've got in the house. When I do a future one, I'm going to get some pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds to crush up with it as well. But obviously, this is what I'm using for now. Um, and what you do is you crush everything up um, and then you soak it in hot water, boiling water from the kettle. Now, obviously, I'm not going to give it to the snails boiling hot. So here I'm just making sure it's cooled down. And I've also added some finely grated carrot, which my snails seem to absolutely adore. I think it's because it makes the carrot a bit easier to eat and um, like juicier. So I think that's why they like it. So this is Rick and he's always my guinea pig. He'll try anything. Um, so he's giving this a go. And what I did, he was awake, so I put, put him by the side of the dish. Um, I put this in a dish because it's going to make a mess everywhere in the tank. But as you can see around the dish, there's still some of their usual leaves and stuff. So if the babies decide they don't like this, they can carry on eating their usual salad leaves. And I'll just give them some fish flakes later because they do like those. So this is Rick going in to have a look. And you'll see in a bit, his two antenna with his eyes on. Can you see how they droop down? That means he's very, very interested. And that means it probably smells really nice to him. To me, I thought it smelled horrible, but to him, it obviously smells really, really nice and he wants to investigate. They had yesterday um, mixed salad leaves and some banana. So today they're getting their um, snail mix, which I like to give them once a week just to make sure they've got the protein in the diet because even though... Obviously, most people think that they're just solely herbivores. They're actually not. They do require protein. You can give them a little bit of beef mince. Um, it has to be raw, though. Um, Rick loves that. Uh, the mealworms, obviously a good protein source for them as well. And the dried ones, um, all you do is crush them up and mix them with hot water just to make them nice and squishy, to make like a paste. Um, and they love it. Um, you could put live mealworms in that you just... You have to kill them first because the snails aren't going to kill them. Um, so you kill the um, mealworm and then put it in um, but I can't handle live mealworms so I, ugh, so I prefer dried So, but they like it anyway they don't care whether it's dried or not um, so as you can see obviously I made sure that this was all cooled down thoroughly I left it for about half an hour so it was, it was actually stone cold when I gave it to Rick and as you can see it's a roaring success he's very very happy both of his um, antenna with his eyes on, his eye stalks are pointing down. So he's very, very interested in having a really good look around. His lower antenna, which are used for smell, are having a good old dig into the food and a sniff. And as you can see, he's busy munching away. I like when you film him up close. Can you see like the ripples in the muscles on his on the back of him? That's his little muscles moving as he as he cr crawls forward. Um, so yeah, so I watched Morty for, um, Morty, I watched Rick, sorry, Morty's my new one, <laughs> I watched Rick for a good 10 minutes and he was still there eating, so yeah, this is a roaring success and later on when the baby snails come out, because they tend to come out when it's a bit later in the afternoon, um, they'll go absolutely mad for the grated carrot and probably the snail mix, they did eat, um, the mealworms before, they have eaten the fish flakes before. The only thing the babies haven't tried before is the oats, but I've never met a land snail that doesn't like oats. Um, normally when you make um, snail mix or snail porridge, they love it. So this is what I'm trying with them. I will get some um, better recipes and put more ingredients in, but for now this is obviously what they're having. This is not their sole item in their diet. This is obviously mixed with lots of veggies and things that they've had all throughout the week um and like i said i give them this once a week you could just give them the fish flakes if you wanted but i wanted to try and sort of give them a more 
rounded diet with a lot more vitamins in and since I've been making sure there's a lot of variety Rick has grown so much and so has the baby so it's obviously doing the mother world of good if anyone else has any recommendations for recipes uh, let me know I'm currently in the process of gathering different recipes so I can see what's in them analyze the contents and obviously see how much protein and things are in um from research papers like if you read research papers and stuff um it's about 20 25 percent protein they need in the diet roughly um but obviously i am researching more into it to find out exactly um the wider variety of things i can eat what you have to remember is in the wild snails are part of the cleanup crew so they will eat loads of different things um and from what I can tell in the world, they're pretty good at avoiding the stuff that they're not supposed to eat. Um, but obviously, I avoid the things that are known to be toxic to them, um, like, you know, rice and pasta, because obviously I can't guarantee my snails aren't going to try it and it could hurt them. So, yeah, make sure you never put pasta or rice in any of the food. It makes them all, like, um, swell up and stuff. They have, like, a really, really funny reaction. Um, with potatoes... A, there's quite a few people say potatoes are absolutely fine um a lot of people and then there's quite a lot of people who say oh no you can't give them potatoes because of the starch content so i do avoid potatoes at the moment but obviously if you've got if you've um fed your snail potatoes and it's been perfectly fine let me know another thing i'm going to try is parboiling um broccoli because um they won't eat broccoli mine at all um, I don't know if it's because it's a bit too hard or firm or whether they just think, oh, no. So what I'm going to do is try parboiling. I've heard that if you parboil the vegetables just to soften them a little, that makes the snails more keen to have a go. And obviously the only thing you've got to be aware of, though, is that it, like, if you use like um, cauliflower, which they can eat as well, I think, um, that could make your, t- your tank smell um, and as I think, like when I've put broccoli in before, it's not really made it smell bad or anything. So I'll see what happens when I parboil it and try it. What I'll do though is I'll put it on like a little dish like this, um, just to make it so it's easy to remove. Like if they're finished with it and it's starting to smell or anything, and then air out the tank a bit by leaving the lid off for a, a bit while I watch them. Um, so yeah, if you know of any recipes, let me know, um, and I'll be writing them down and comparing them. Um, I know some people also feed the um, snails dog biscuits. Uh, the Bonio brand, I've heard, is ideal for them. I can't get that anywhere, so I'm currently researching different little droid dog foods and things, like looking at the ingredients when I go to the shop to see if I can find one that seems to have all the ingredients in that's suitable for them. Um, if you know of an easily available um dry dog food that's available in the uk um that i can use for my african land snails let me know in the comments um otherwise i'll just carry on doing my research and find out but i will find out eventually um so yeah this is uh rick testing out my new snail mix and then obviously next time i make it i'm going to add some more i'm going to add some uh, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds as well you can put sesame seeds in as well and parsley and things but you have to be careful with parsley because it can inhibit calcium absorption the same with spinach so obviously there are certain foods where they can eat it but you don't want them to eat like tons of it so yeah i'll let you know when i find out more so yeah hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now